Hi, we're going to compare the strength of KSP uh, values, which really is code for, hey, which one's more soluble? Comparing values is going to show us which salt is more soluble in water, which salt dissolves more in water. Um, so here's the takeaway. Uh, you want the short answer right now, so you can stop the video, here it is. The larger the KSP, the more soluble the solid. There you have it. Um, here's where you have to be careful. This is where students make mistakes. Be really careful interpreting negative exponents. So here's an example. If I'm comparing 10 to the minus three to 10 to the minus four, which one's the bigger number? 10 to the minus three. And it's because of that negative. Now, if those are positive, yeah, that's different. 10 to the four would be bigger. So you've got to remember those are negative exponents. Be really, really careful. I don't look at it just really fast and go, oh, four is bigger than three. No. These are negative, so we're moving the decimals. I actually wrote this out in decimal form to make it super visual for you. Um, so 10 to the minus three is 0 0.001. 10 to the minus four is 0 0.0001. Now looking with the decimals, it's easy to see, oh yeah, 10 to the minus three is bigger. So just be careful. You've got to slow down half a tick and be very conscious and thoughtful when you're looking at those negative exponents. Um, so 10 to the minus three, that is larger. Now. Here's a question that you're going to be asked. It will say, which is more soluble in each pair? Um, here's my first pair. I've got a silver chloride and a silver cyanide. So I look up on a KSP table, silver, silver chloride, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10, and then 6.0 times 10 to the minus 17. Well, 10 to the minus 10 is a larger number than 10 to the minus 17. So which one's more soluble? The bigger number. So this right here is going to be more soluble, more soluble. Now let me justify that for you. Remember, KSP, any equilibrium, um, is simply defined as products over reactants. It's the concentration of products over reactants. Is when you have this beautiful equal rate, so forward rate equals reverse rate, um, those rates are equal, so the concentrations of the reactant and product are constant. Um, so when I hit this equilibrium, um, we have an amount of products compared to an amount of reactants, concentration of product over concentration of reactants. Um, well, when I have a value less than one, when K is less than one, that tells me that I have more reactants. It is reactant favored is what we call it. So look at this, very, very less than one, 10 to the minus 10. Um, so it means I have a lot of reactants, a big denominator, compared to the numerator to give me a value less than one. Um, so if I want to know, well, which one dissolves more, it's going to be the one that has actually more products. And the one that has more products is going to be the bigger number. Look at this one, 10 to the minus 17. That means I have a much larger reactant and the reactant's a solid, which doesn't dissolve. Let me give you a reminder on this. Let's actually take that silver chloride. This is how you'd write it. AgCl yields your silver ion plus your chloride ion. This is solid and these are aqueous right there. Um, so if it's a solid, it hasn't dissolved. So for example, with this one, 10 to the minus 17, it means I have a lot more reactants. I have a lot more solid. I don't have as many products. I don't have as many ions that have dissolved. dissolved. So there's the justification on it. The smaller the number, the more uh, reactants you have, which is solid. The bigger the number, the more reactants, which are the ions that have dissolved. So there's a justification on that overall statement. The bigger the KSP, the more soluble, the more ions that dissolve. Um, let's look at this one right here. So we have a magnesium hydroxide, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 12, and a calcium hydroxide, 5.5 times 10 to the minus 5. So you got two seconds, which one's more soluble? I know you said this one. It's the calcium hydroxide. And then I'm going to press you, why? Why, oh, what's the justification? It's because calcium hydroxide is larger. The KSP for the calcium hydroxide is larger than the KSP for the magnesium hydroxide, which means there are more products. More has dissolved, more has dissolved. Okay, good. So you'll be good to go. These multiple choice questions that you're asked of which one is more soluble, bigger the KSP, more soluble. Good work. If you have other questions, check out the playlist under KSP. Thanks so much.